Well, we caught up with David Dudley. He uh, started on smallmouth this morning, had about 16 pounds, a great start. Moved all the way up to the north end to a great big grassy bay, the same one that Scott Martin started on, that he's been catching them on. And uh, watched him for a while, just not a lot of bites, but finally caught a big one, making a nice little cull right here. Was at 16 pounds in the smallmouth, probably gonna give him an extra pound, maybe two, get him up to uh, 17, maybe 18. Really making a good run so far today. Saw so before that him and Curtis Richardson fishing really close together. Scott's been fishing here as well. What you have is a huge bay out here. Just a monster spawning bay where the, the largemouth live. A lot, a lot more stained water up here. What they're fishing is at the very end of it, it's the last little couple high spots. Basically it's the main lake point you would consider or the deep water structure that they have. The fish seem to be grouped up out here. They could be spawning, but more likely it's a transition spot. These fish, when they move into spawn and come back out, it's where they group up. This is their kind of offshore structure. David's been using, a, even in this tannic water, he's been using a finesse rig, a spinning rod, probably throwing a wacky worm, a little Texas rig, drop shot, something like that, having to work for these fish. We saw Curtis working through here fairly quickly. He's using a bait caster. He's catching a lot of pike, not getting the bass. David caught a small one, finally worked it over, caught that big largemouth. Smallmouth here, you can get 18 pounds, maybe 19, it's really hard to crack 20. To win this thing, to make a big jump, you're gonna have to get the largemouth. So Dave was kind of executing that plan. Got those smallmouth first, now working really slowly, methodically, trying to upgrade that. With Scott breaking down this morning and uh, David making a big push, this thing's getting really tight right now. David's obviously a closer, he's won everything there is on FLW, so uh, making a move up the leaderboard. If he can get a couple more largemouth like that, I mean, he's gonna be, he may have the lead at the end of the day. We'll see what he does.